and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our Wavy Saying stamp set and we are also introducing two new die sets which is the Fancy Wavy Banners and the Simple Wavy Banners and all of these work together so let's go ahead and check it out. So first up we're going to be looking at Wavy Sayings and so this has a bunch of great general sentiments. So we have Happy Birthday, Congratulations, Thinking of You, Love You Lots, we have Feel Better, Waving hello, you're the best, thanks so much, and flying by to say. Now these are the simple wavy banners, and so they're really awesome because they are just simple and plain but have that beautiful wavy detail. Then these are the fancy wavy banners, and they're wavy banners that are just a little bit fancier. So we have the awesome kind of very fancy one up top, we have a stitched one, and we also have one with a little frame. So you'll see here how those work. You get the little frame and then a smaller banner on the inside, and you can take that frame and layer it onto the stitched banner to create a really cool look. Or you can layer the frame and the piece that goes on the inside to create a really cool inlaid look. So it kind of just depends on what you're going for. You can also take that skinnier banner that gets cut by the one with the frame and layer it into the stitched one and I think that's a really beautiful look as well. To create the 3D banner up at the top, you'll see the die creates some score lines. So the one closest to the center, you're going to fold back and the next one you're going to fold toward yourself. So you're going to fold the one closest to the center back and the one closest to the edge towards yourself and that's going to create almost like a little Z look and you'll see there it's an awesome three dimensional banner which is so beautiful. And then here is a look at the banners together with the simple and the wavy. You can see even those two are a different size, the one that's from the inside frame piece and the one that's from the simple wavy piece. You can use these wavy banners with any of your sentiments because you can curve those clear stamps to match, but what's really cool about the wavy sayings is that there's already curved to match these wavy banners, so it does it right for you, and I love the little curve in that sentiment. It's also really great to just stamp those even without a wavy banner because I just love the look of a curved sentiment flying through the sky. So now it's time to create some cards with these fun sets. And so here we've got the spiffy speckles and we're gonna die cut some of the white with the blue speckles on it. And we're gonna die cut that as well with the stitched windy backdrop. But I only want the windy backdrop up towards the top because the bottom's gonna have some grass cut covering it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that die and we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna layer it onto the die with the bottom edge sticking out. But because I don't want that bottom edge cut off, we're going to do some partial die cutting. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this whole die piece there and we're going to layer it onto our cutting mat here with the piece that we don't want to cut hanging off of the edge. That way there won't be the pressure there to cut it. So you see we can layer everything on top, run it through the die cut machine, and the bottom wasn't cut because it was hanging off of the cutting plate, which is really, really cool. So now we've got a nice windy backdrop in that portrait style. I've die cut the same size rectangle, and then we're gonna die cut it again there with a grassy border and a simple grassy hillsides border. So now we'll have a straight grass and then kind of a little hill of grass, and those are gonna layer right onto the card just like that. To add a little detail to this card, we're going to use some mermaid ink and a foam ink blending tool and some foam. We're going to pick up a little bit of ink, just take off a little bit of the excess, start in the center, and go out in a circle just like that, building up the color. And today we're recreating this card by Audrey, and I love how she does this. She has these kind of pops of color in the centers of her cards, and it's so gorgeous. So I'm just going to keep doing the same thing, starting in the center, and then building that color up, using the grass kind of as a guide to see how far out that color should go. Then once I have as much ink on there as I want, I'm going to take a spray bottle and spray this with some water here, and the water is going to react with the ink, creating these really cool little speckles. Then I'm going to take my heat tool and dry that. I wasn't being patient enough to wait for it to dry. And then once I dried it, I want a little bit more of that detail. So we're going to spray a little bit more water on. This time I'm going to spray it in my hand and kind of flick it on with my fingers to get bigger drops. And then once I have a ton of drops on there, we're going to dry it again with the heat tool. You can also just let it air dry, but I was not in a patient mood that day. So there you can see how it's giving it kind of a softer look by adding those water splotches on there. 
Now to go along with the ink blending, I'm gonna take some Lucky Clover Distress Oxide ink here, and we're gonna go ahead and just ink the edges. I'm flicking the edges of the grass just to give them a little bit of a definition. So I'm picking up some ink, flicking the edges, and you'll see it just adds just a little extra something. Here I have the Butterfly Kisses stamp set and I went ahead and stamped and colored a bear and a bunny, a butterfly, and some clouds and we're going to start layering all of these pieces together. So I wanted that grass piece that I had cut earlier to be a little bit higher so I just attached it onto my card base a little bit up and no one will ever know because we're going to add the other piece of grass to the bottom with some foam squares. We're also going to add the other stamped elements that we have with the foam squares too. So we're going to add the cute little bear and bunny on there and then we're gonna add our clouds up into the sky. We use the glue tube to add a little liquid glue to that adorable little heart trail for the butterfly. I'm gonna layer that right onto the card, and then we can add our butterfly with some foam squares too. We can then finish placing those clouds up into the sky, and next we're gonna be using the simple wavy banners. So I'm gonna use the smallest banner there and die cut it from some white cardstock, and we're gonna be stamping the waving hello on there. And as you'll see, those wavy sayings are perfectly curved to work with these wavy banners. So they have the perfect curve so you don't even have to worry about curving your stamps. For this card, I'm gonna cut off the very last little flag there so that it looks like the flag is kinda of coming out from the side of the card. And I think that's a really, really cool look with these wavy banners. And then we'll add some foam squares to the back and we can layer that right onto the card. And I really love this in the flying in the air, especially with the butterfly flying around. I think it looks really, really cute. Here we've got our card base. We'll add some tape runner to that and then layer this whole card right on top. You can see just how super cute this is. I absolutely love it. So next up, we're gonna be creating a card using the fancy wavy banners. Also, make sure to check out a bunch of our other videos because we've been using these wavy banners all throughout those. So here we have some Bristol Smooth cardstock and we're gonna die cut the new stitched umbrella from it. And then we're gonna be using some Tombow markers. So these are some water-based markers and we're able to scribble across this cool little umbrella here and then blend it with some water. So you'll see here, we're gonna pick out some primary rainbow colors and then we're gonna start scribbling onto the umbrella. So right there, this is gonna create one of those cool kind of rainbow beach umbrellas kind of look. So we're just gonna scribble right on just like that and then we can move on to the orange and then we can go on down the rainbow. So we're gonna speed that up and get to see that in fast motion. And then once we have all of the colors on there, we're gonna do some blending between these colors. And because these are water-based markers, we're able to do that. So we're gonna take a small paintbrush and dip it in some clean water. And then we're gonna go ahead through these colors, blending them out. So you'll see once you add some of the water, it blends out the color, and then you're also able to create a gradient between the yellow and the green, or the yellow and the orange, etc. So we're gonna work our way from the center of this umbrella and then out to the edges. So there you'll see we'll add a little more water and kind of keep blending it out. And this is gonna give it a really cool watercolor look and kind of a messy look, which I really, really like. So you'll see just how pretty that's looking. We'll keep blending that out and making sure the color goes all the way to the tips of the umbrella. And then we'll finish up with the purple and blue side. And I really like seeing that purple and blue blend together. It's so pretty and just such a happy little rainbow umbrella. Next, we're gonna create a card base out of some of the wood grain card stock. And so this is gonna give the card a bunch of great texture. And to add some even more texture, we're gonna do some splatters. So we're gonna add some water here to some white pearlized watercolor paint. And then we're gonna flick that paint on to this card stock. And because we've got our umbrella and it's raining, this is kind of gonna look like rain on the card stock. But because it's got that pearlescent quality to it, it really adds a lot of shine to the card. Now that that's all done, we're gonna go ahead and die cut some of the raindrops that are in the stitched umbrella set from some pixie dust cardstock to add even more sparkle to the card. We're gonna be using the fanciest of the fancy wavy banners here, and so we're gonna be die cutting that folded banner there from some white cardstock. We've also die cut some of the decorative elements for the umbrella. So we have the little tip of the umbrella and then we also have the handle and then the decorative part of the handle. So we're gonna layer all of those pieces on right now. So we'll layer that one on there and then we'll layer the whole umbrella handle. And then I love that little decorative piece on the bottom. It makes it look like one of those kind of old timey umbrellas, which is super cute. 
We're also going to pick out some of the paper here from the Spring Fling pack and we're going to pick out the B side of the Carolina paper. And then we're going to trim that paper there down to a strip in the middle. And I love how the back of the card is all gray so that the rainbow of the umbrella really, really pops. Now we, that we have that piece all trimmed down, we can start to do our stamping. So here's our wavy saying stamp set, and that's going to line up perfectly with the curve in this cool folded banner. So we're going to stamp that out in some storm cloud ink to coordinate with all of these awesome grays that we have going on. And we're going to stamp out your the best. Then we can go ahead and start to fold along the score lines that the die creates for us. So we're going to fold back along that first score line and then towards ourselves on the other, creating this really cool folded banner. We're going to add a bunch of foam squares to the inside part of the banner. And then we're going to layer on this gray pattern paper piece right towards the middle of the card. Then we're going to take this whole banner and layer that on top of that pattern paper just like that. We're going to add some foam squares to the back of the umbrella and then we can layer that onto the card and I love the nice pop that those foam squares add to the back. And then we're going to take those glittered raindrops that we cut earlier and we're going to layer those coming from under the umbrella which I think looks super cute. It makes this whole card just look amazing. So there we're going to take this whole card, kind of flatten it out there and then take those fun little sparkly raindrops and layer those onto the card. Once we have all of the layered placement of the different sizes of raindrops, then we can pick those up and add a little liquid glue behind them. And so we're just going to pick those up with some tweezers, add a little liquid glue, and layer that right down onto the card. And then our card is all done. It's super sparkly, super happy, and I love that rainbow watercolor look. So next up, we have some amazing cards by the design team. And first up, we have a card set by Elise that's just gorgeous. She actually embossed the lattice backdrop into her paper and then used a scripty thanks and that fancy banner, and they're so cute and so simple and easy to do. This card by Audrey is so adorable, and it's the one we recreated today, so thanks so much, Audrey. Here, Jen layered the two pieces of the banners on top of each other so that you can see that stitch detail around it. And then here, Elise inlaid that cool little frame, and I love how it looks. It really makes the sentiment pop. Here, we added the cool little wavy banner onto a shadow box card. And in this card here by Shari, you can see how awesome it is with that glittery frame going around the sentiment. Here, I love how Megan added her wavy banner to the top of her shadow box and used a sentiment from another stamp set in it. They work great with other sets. Elena used the wavy sayings in the plane from Simply Celebrate Spring, and those are perfectly curved to work together. And then I love this card by Kay with that cute little gnome and the stitched fancy banner is adorable. And then here I love how Megan layered the two tones of cardstock with that awesome frame and the fancy wavy banners. So I can't wait to see what you guys do with these new sets, so make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today, and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!